Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence, we take a look at the outlook for the global economy and whether a recession is still likely. The world remains in a period of economic uncertainty with soaring interest rates, higher oil prices and dwindling pandemic savings playing a part. The likelihood of a recession in the US and the Eurozone has been on economists' radars for nearly a year, but conviction rates have varied. One recession indicator, the inversion of the US 10-year yield curve, has been flashing since June 2022. The US 10-year minus two-year Treasury yield spread has been inverted since then, which is typically indicative of a recession within 12 months. The US Congress passed a bipartisan bill at the 11th hour to avoid a government shutdown, but there are still speed bumps ahead. The bill, signed by President Biden, will only liquidate the government for a further 45 days, pushing the likelihood of a shutdown further into the future. This means that key data releases, including Friday's monthly payrolls report, can go ahead on time, avoiding even more market uncertainties. Bloomberg Economics, though, sees six potential reasons a U.S. recession is still likely, citing worker strikes, rising oil prices and higher inflation among them. The team also cites history as an indicator, with the number of news articles mentioning the optimism of a, quote, soft landing often peaking before a downturn hits. And billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman is also seeing cracks appear and says he's still shorting 30-year Treasury bills as a hedge. Well, rising inflation, the slowdown in China, higher interest rates and the potential for a U.S. recession would weigh on our economy. And while the OECD still expects our economy to record aggregate GDP growth of 1.8 per cent for this year, it's downgraded its forecast for 2024 to just 1.3 per cent. The world economy, meanwhile, is expected to grow by 3 per cent this year before slowing down to 2.7 per cent in 2024. And that is your IG Macro Intelligence for today. We'll see you next week.